Okay, YouTube. We're back with a quick video. I don't know if this is going to be too quick, but we did get some of this garbage. Sausage biscuits. Got seven of them for the, the hell of it. Uh, wow. It's crazy. I didn't have to go stand in line or try to beat anybody up for one. I went to Walmart after I cashed a check. Yeah, this is payday pickups. And, uh, I thought I was going to have to, like, you know, like I did when I remember... Some of you guys remember I slept out at, at uh, Best Buy to get the SNES Classic. Well, went, went strolled into the electronics at Walmart about an hour ago, and guess what? Boom, the last one they had. That's sweet. So we not only got the NES, I mean the SNES, but we also had the NES too. I'll open that on another video. But yeah, what the Target, I mean Best Buy. There's a couple of games I just, I don't know, I don't know why I got most of them, but they were, uh, buy two, get one free. I mean, Target's for sale now. I mean, not Target, Best Buy's for sale now. I'll give them 50 cents. I mean, they'll give you one buck for 30 games, so if they want to sell to me also, I'll give them 50 cents. So I took the original Naruto Ninja Storm, never played it, but we got it. And... Wow, normally they, they stick the CDs in, but they didn't this time. Samurai Spirit, Samurai Warriors, Spirit of Sonata. I guess a uh, Yukimura Sonata. And I rarely buy it like this. I don't have to find me a, the, the case. I think I might have the case from when I used to dumpster dive. I'll have to look around. But yeah, I should have the case for this. There's a Dynasty Warriors 7. See, I noticed the other day, the reason I got the 7 is because I have Extreme Legends. I'm like, wait a second, I don't have 7 for PS3? No, I'm gonna, I am wanna wait then. I'm just, I'm just gonna wait and I'll get 7, then I'll play it. Besides, 7 was good. I like the Conquest mode. After that, nothing has been very good for me on Dynasty Warriors. I miss the Conquest mode because it's a lot, it's a lot more of a funner theme. Let's see what else are we gonna do so yeah there's some GameStop stuff gotta start eating healthier so got a couple bags of salad some shredded carrots yeah I don't know why I'm showing you guys all that like I say I do a lot of pointless stuff when I show you guys stuff there's uh, some grapes we have another box of contenders basketball Got some of these. We'll see if that works for me. I bought one of these. I bought this. Yeah, I was sucked in by two uh, hobby packs, which you know is probably a load of garbage. I need some nail clippers, so I got that. Got to stop losing my nail clippers. I got another one of these, so I got a collection of that going. Cherry preserves, hell yeah. I couldn't resist it, so we got two of those. Need some more of this hand soap shit, so. Got two big bottles. Hopefully, that'll last long. I mean, that stuff don't really last for crap in my in my house. See, I wanted the cherry one of this, but I guess we'll go with this for now. The strawberry one. See, the thing that pissed me off about this one is, look at that, Sh sugar and cane sugar. I can understand it. The them putting sugar right there is the sugar from the cherries, you know, naturally sweetened. But adding extra cane sugar. Why do you want to add two kinds of sugar for it? And, and look, look at this one. It's just uh, juice concentrates, paired grape, pineapple, strawberries, citric acid, fruit pectin, and natural flavor. I mean, it's a lot of money for something like this. Two bucks. But, I mean, to keep away from extra sugar and uh, high fructose corn syrup, you might, want, you might end up having to spend a little more. High fructose corn syrup is a poison, guys. 
and I get me some hand sanitizer. You guys know how I am with that stuff. And last but not least, we bought Paul, Apostle of Christ. It was a pretty good one. People complain because these guys aren't from. Because these guys aren't from uh, the area, you know, the Jewish areas. Well, you know, if you guys saw the Noah movie, that was garbage. It was an atheist who decided to take Noah and turn him into this biggest, the biggest freaking asshole on the planet. It was a stupid movie. This movie turned out really good because they did it right. So, you know, what do you want? you want it right or do you want it to look like crap? Anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys. We'll get to... Yeah. Laters.